All right, what you months are doing commentary on the Generation 1 and 2 games. This is Pokemon Red. There's Nidorino. I think this is the first Pokemon I actually played. It's red or blue, obviously, because that would have been around the time. So like 12 or something. I like it. I think I like the onion a lot more than the uh, game, although I seem to reverse it now. I think I like the game a lot more than the onion. And the onion has a similar style. Getting to the Pokemon. We see this Squirtle three times. We also see this at least two times. Stupid worm. And Scyther, who I must have the worst job possible ever. Just lumber. And it's just things that don't involve uh, dex dexterity at all, because he has blade for fucking teeth. Unless, I don't know. I don't know how it works. They don't see much about their habitat and how they each other that. We just know that they're very battle oriented. Very blue. Much, well, yeah, I should beat this one. I might go back and do a game of red, but when you go from red, when you go from generation one to two to three, you see there's a lot of improvement. I like Jupiter Post Well, it's. Ah, it's like. I don't know if Jigglypuff actually has a headbutt, but uh, who, who's counting? It's the uh, guy with the yeah, animal. He's pretty cool. Read the manga. Hitmonlee is pretty bad in there. He's like, Hitmonlee is Bruno has fucking his legs stretch out really far. He's charming. Lizard with his tail on fire. Maybe see him at least one more time. That like, giant menacing kick thing on the what, what can I say about you? Tadpole, again. You seem like there's one. Okay. I'm a giant rat. With electric sex. On my face. On my butt. <laughs> <laughs> it's just his eyes. One of his eyes is just all sunny. Like he looks like a cross eyes. Now we're getting to more fun games. I'm sure in color. Of course, I've recorded these in reverse. I recorded the Generation 3 first. Both uh, the videos and the sound clips, and now I'm doing the. They got recorded these a little later. <laughs> I think it's you doing a flying kick in the air. He's red or something. He's on a surfboard. He's not moving. There he is, I'm moving again. Oh, wait, I, I, for some reason that was funny. Just, uh, ah! <laughs> getting raped! And, but that will cause you seizures, but ironically. It was Pikachu that caused those seizures in that Porygon episode, not Porygon. Actually, Porygon was not really involved in causing the seizures at all. It was Pikachu. They had this virus thing that was shooting missiles at them, and Pikachu zapped them, and all those flashes were caused by Pikachu zapping them. Anyway, moving on to something a little more cool. The, the openers here are pretty cool. They almost get more and more badass, except for the fact that they don't start off so badass. These stupid shelters with their tongues hanging out. I don't know why they're always with their tongue hanging out. And I don't know why they couldn't think of something a little more creative to do with each opener, but... Yes, this is fine. My upper is... Looks like it's having a nervous take. Look at it. It's just... Eh, eh, eh. I can't stop waiting. I'm not this nervous. I just have, like, this nervous condition. And Jigglypuff's just singing and doing his own thing. And then Pikachu's tail flips out, and Pikachu flips out and tackles Jigglypuff. Like, shut the fuck up. Arrgh. <laughs> I have been indigestion. That's what it seems like. Dropping rainbow sprinkles on him. Or her. Or does Ho Oh have any gender? At all. I don't think so. Oh, wait. Ugh, here's Silver. I actually managed to beat the Elite Four in Silver. I beat the Elite Four in Yellow as well, actually. And that was without cheating, mind you. On uh, Fire Red, I couldn't save, so I just used save save. I'll, I'll admit. <laughs> I just, yeah, and I actually save save like in the middle of the battle to take advantage of the possibility that Hyper Pig can miss. Yes, it has 90% accuracy. Not 100%. Yeah, I just can't get over that. Chili Pops is doing its own thing. I'm thinking you, I don't know what the hell is up with his tail, but he's in there and he just says, Fuck you, Chili Pops, stop singing. Er. I time we get to see this cool opener. But I guess Crystal has its own cool opener. I might want to play Crystal by the way. Even though it makes it, makes it a little harder to get your electric type for your team. If you 
dependent on the grass types. Which you can get some grass types, but they're not so good. Okay, so Lugia's supposed to be spawning. I actually thought Lugia was flying for years and I'm just was playing these games. I don't know if I actually started off with gold or silver when I was playing Generation 2 games. I never played Crystal. Well, I, I didn't play from the start. I, my brother was playing a game and I decided to try a little bit of it. Just panning over the field. Alright. These Uno are kind of cool. I haven't actually seen the movie. I saw like a little bit of it. What the fuck just happened? What? <laughs> Truth be told, I never really liked the baby Pokemon. Like, I just raised Togepi just because it was part of the game's progression. Or just sweet Togepi. Whoosh. Weirdest matchup ever. <laughs> Showing his ass to us. I don't know what the fuck's up with that. I don't know what this says in the Unonis. Can't read it. But am I the only one that wants to note this? Look in the back. Look behind Pokemon Crystal version of the words. It looks like the GameCube logo now. Anyway. So, uh, I don't have you, uh, much more blank space in the video. Just, uh, hope you enjoyed this. It's actually recording this time. I actually recorded about ten minutes worth of uh, the sound that I thought was recording before, and it wasn't recording. But yeah, it's, it works now. Anyway, be thankful. Um, I might do some more commentary eventually, maybe some other, maybe some no plays of, uh, the Pokemon games. Anyway, uh, subscribers, keep up. See you later.